Hey everybody, it's Steph Mishuk with KillerSites.com. That's uh, it's me right here. If you want to know, um, I was recently emailed a question. People were asking about Joomla and um, Drupal, and they're seeing, you know, the basic question rather was, uh, what's the future of Dreamweaver? You know, and the implication was, well, Drupal and Dreamweaver and other CMSs and blog software make uh, web design soft software like Dreamweaver, um, you know, out of date. Will these things become unimportant? It's a pretty good question because a lot of web development these days is being done with blogs and CMSs because of all the advantages. And I've, if you've been following me, I've been a big proponent of. WordPress-based web design. Uh, you, you know, you can apply that to any blog, really. If you choose, if you prefer Joomla, go with Joomla. If you prefer Drupal, go with Drupal. I happen to be uh, a WordPress guy simply because of, uh, you know, it's it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere, tons of themes out there and tons of plugins, but that's another video. So the big question is, is a web designer software, web design software like Dreamweaver, are these things going the way of the uh, uh, wagon wheel because of uh, blogs? Um, I think not. I think they're less important than they used to be in the 90s. And that has a lot to do with the fact that the web design technology out there, the basic stuff, the HTML and the CSS and the JavaScript has become much more sophisticated, much more refined and easier to work with. You see, the old web design software, like Dreamweaver, really made it easy to deal with all the headaches and the lack of efficiency, if you will, in you know HTML as it was in the 3.0 days and old CSS and so on, where you had to do table-based design and all this kind of stuff, which was really code-heavy. These days, web design is much less heavy on code and images and much heavier on ter in terms of sophistication, in terms of understanding of the technologies. These days, web designers have to spend more time understanding the un underlying principles of what makes a web page, and that means understanding HTML well, understanding CSS well, understanding a little bit of PHP, a little bit of JavaScript. So uh, a lot of the heavy lifting that we needed Dreamweaver to do and other web design software is now gone. That said, there's still a place for Dreamweaver if you uh, like that kind of stuff. The, the WYSIWYG software, which is a, what you see is what you get. That's what that's what WYSIWYG stands for, for, uh, for, uh, for information. Um, for instance, the CS5 or version of Dreamweaver actually does contain uh, a lot of tools built into it, specifically for WordPress editing. And I think in our video store here, we have it, yeah, Dreamweaver and WordPress. So we have an actual course that teaches that. And you see it provides a lot of uh, functionality. Again, it speeds up the process, makes it easier for you to build out Word, WordPress themes w when you use Dreamweaver CS5. Is it absolutely necessary? No. Does it speed things up? Yes. And this goes with everything else, whether you be writing uh, your straight static web pages, meaning pages that, uh, you know, are HTML pages that don't have dynamic elements to it, or you're writing, uh, or you're building out Drupal or Joomla-based uh, sites and WordPress, of course. So is Dreamweaver finish? Is Drupal and Joomla the future and Dreamweaver the past? Not so much, although I do think, think though that you know modern web design is going to be it's going to lean towards eventually 95 percent, if not higher, uh, of all websites are going to be based on a blog or or, or a um, or a CMS, a content management based system like Drupal or Joomla. So, you know. Would I concentrate on learning Dreamweaver or, or, or learning Drupal? You know, again, Dreamweaver could be a good uh, way to deepen your knowledge and understanding of web design in general because of all the tips and, uh, and automation tools that they provide. 
uh, but it's you know again it's not absolutely necessary. Will re will Dreamweaver be replaced uh, finally because everybody's using blogs and CMSs? No, not totally replaced, but greatly diminished. I, I believe greatly diminished. Um, so it really depends on the type of work you want to do, and it depends on what skill level you're at. If you're less skilled, you have less of a knowledge in the basics of web design, again, that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, or even you have very uh, little knowledge or less of a knowledge of WordPress, something like Dreamweaver to CS5 and up, I would imagine, will uh, speed up the process for you and help you to build better sites in the end. But again, like anybody else, as you become more uh, of an expert in the field, it will lose its status to a certain extent. That's it. This is my screencast, and uh, I hope you found it useful.